caused by thermal decomposition of bicarbonate ions but also happens in cases where the carbonate ion is at saturation concentration. 82. The resulting buildup of scale restricts the flow of water in pipes. In boilers, the deposits impair the flow of heat into the water, reducing the heating efficiency and allowing the metal boiler components to overheat. The reciprocating mechanism on the driving wheels of a two-cylinder single expansion steam locomotive tended to pound thrails, see hammer blow, thus requiring more maintenance. Raising steam from coal took a matter of hours, and created serious pollution problems. Coal burning locomotives required fire cleaning and ash removal between turns of duty. 83. Diesel or electric locomotives, by comparison, drew benefit from new custom built servicing facilities. The smoke from steam locomotives was also deemed objectionable. The first electric and diesel locomotives were developed in response to smoke abatement requirements, 84, although this did not take into account the high level of less visible pollution in diesel exhaust smoke, especially when idling. In some countries, however, power for electric locomotives is derived from steam generated in power stations, which are often run by coal dot revival. 60,163 Tornado, a new express locomotive built for the British Main Line, completed in 2008 Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad 425 being readied in Pennsylvania, US, for the daily tourist train in 1993 Dramatic increases in the cost of diesel fuel prompted several initiatives to revive steam power. 85, 86. However none of these has progressed to the point of production and, as of the early 21st century, steam locomotives operate only in a few isolated regions of the world and in tourist operations. As early as 1975, railway enthusiasts in the United Kingdom began building new steam locomotives. That year, Trevor Barber completed his two feet, 610 millimeters. Gaga locomotive trixie which ran on the Million Mill Railway. 87. From the 1990s onwards, the number of new builds being completed rose dramatically with new locus completed by the narrow gauge Festiniog and Chorus Railways in Wales. The Hunslet Engine Company was revived in 2005 and began building steam locomotives on a commercial basis. 88. A standard gauge on a peppercorn Pacific Tornado was completed at Hopertown Works, Darlington, and made its first run on 1 August 2008. 89. 90. It entered main line service later in 2008. 91. As of 2009 over half a dozen projects to build working replicas of extinct steam engines are going gay head, in many cases using existing parts from other types to build them. Examples include BR 72010 Hengist, 92, BR Class 3 Mount Number 82045, BR Class 2 Mount Number 84030, 93, Brighton Atlantic Beachy Head, 94. The LMS 5551 The Unknown Warrior Project, GWR 47XX 4709, 2999 Lady of Legend, 1014 County of Glamorgan and 6880 Betton Grange Projects. These United Kingdom-based new build projects are further complemented by the new build Pennsylvania Railroad. A 774 10 0 on steam special train in Moscow the 11th of July 20102-6-0 type N3 steam locomotive built by Bayer, Peacock and Company in 1910 and restored 2005-2007 with Uruguayan Railfan Association, AUAR. The photo shows the locomotive with a passenger tourist train in March. 
2013 at a Montevideo railway station museum. South African class 26, the Red Devil 5550, 95, project in the United States. One of the group's goals is to surpass the steam locomotive speed record held by the 4,468 Mallard when the 5,550 is completed and for the 5,550 to fill in a huge gap in steam locomotive preservation. In 1980, American financier Ross Rowland established American Coal Enterprises to develop a modernized coal fired steam locomotive. His ACE 3000 concept attracted considerable attention, but was never built. 96, 97, in 1998, in his book The Red Devil and Other Tales from the Age of Steam, 98, David Wardale put forward the concept of a high speed, high efficiency superclass 54 6 0 locomotive for future steam haulage of tool trains on British main lines. BD was formalized in 2001 by the formation of FiveAt project dedicated to developing and building the FiveAt advanced technology steam locomotive, but it never received any major railway backing. Locations where new builds are taking place include GWR 1014 County of Glamorgan and GWR 2999 Lady of Legend, both being built at Didcot Railway Center. GWR 6880 Betton Grange, GWR 4709 and LMS 5551 The Unknown Warrior, all being built at Langolin Railway. On the 2007 Prince of Wales, Darlington Locomotive Works. On the 2001 Coco the North, Doncaster. Pennsylvania Railroad 5550, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, 95. BR 72010 Hengist, Great Central Railway. BR 77021, TBA. BR 82045, Seven Valley Railway. BR 84,030 and LBSC are 32,424 Beachy Head, both being built at Bluebell Railway. MS and LR forward slash GCR 567, Ruddington Great Central Railway, Northern Section. VRV 499, Victoria, Australia. In 2012, the Coalition for Sustainable Rail, 99. Project was started in the US with the goal of creating a modern higher speed steam locomotive, incorporating the improvements proposed by Livio Dante Porter and others, and using torrefied biomass as solid fuel. The fuel has been recently developed by the University of Minnesota in a collaboration between the university's Institute on the Environment, IONI, and Sustainable Rail International. Shri, an organization set up to explore the use of steam traction in a modern railway setup. The group have received the last surviving, but non-running, ATSF 3460 class steam locomotive, number 3463, via donation from its previous owner in Kansas, the Great Overland Station Museum. They hope to use it as a platform for developing the world's cleanest, most powerful passenger locomotive, capable of speeds up to 130 miles per hour, 210 kilometers per hour. Named Project 130, it aims to break the world steam train speed record set by a class of 4468 Mallard in the UK at 126 miles per hour. 203 kilometers per hour. However, any demonstration of the project's claims is yet to be seen. In Germany, a small number of fireless steam locomotives are still working in industrial service, for example at power stations, where an on site supply of steam is readily available. The small town of Walston, Poland, approximately 60 miles from the historic city of Poznan, 
is the last place in the world where one can ride a regularly scheduled passenger train pulled by steam power. The locomotive shed at Walston is the last of its kind in the world. There are several working locomotives that hold daily commuter service between Walston, Poznan Mazo and other neighboring cities. One can partake in footplate courses via the Walston experience. There is no place left in the world that still operates daily, non-tourist steam-powered commuter forward slash passenger service other than here at Walston. There are several Polish built OL49 class 2-6-2 general purpose locomotives and one PT47 class 2-8-2 in regular service. Each May, Walston is the site of a steam locomotive festival which brings visiting locomotives often well over a dozen each year all operating. These operations are not done for tourism or museum forward slash historical purposes. This is the last non-diesel rail line on the PKP, Polish state network, that has been converted to diesel power. The Swiss company Dampf Locomotive und Maskinenfabrik DLMAG delivered eight steam locomotives to rack railways in Switzerland and Austria between 1992 and 1996. Four of them are now the main traction on the Bryans Rothorn Bahn. Four others were built for the Skafberg Bahn in Austria, where they run 90% of the trains. The same company also rebuilt a German DR class 52.802-10-0 locomotive to new standards with modifications such as roller bearings, light oil firing and boiler insulation. 100. Climate. Yes, I have to uh, like to read this. A collaboration oh no, steam why traction do this? in a modern railway setup. The group have received the last surviving. Walston. Tom. Yes, there. Yes, sorry, I have to. Do it now if I forget it. No, that's the last place in the world you drive. Uh, yes, let's duplicate Hudson. Wolfstun in Poland. I will read about it later. That's not much text. Anyway, let's uh, continue. No, that's the last place in the world you have uh, working locomotives. That's not for tourists. That's I'm living uh, in Denmark, not so close for Poland. So I could drive there in a car from like Germany, from Hudson. That's something a little bit south down there. If I ever get a car, but I need a driver license. I think we got to there. We just read from here, and I read like two hours, so I start to get tired. I need a break. I need to charge the camp corner. The Swiss company Dampf Locomotive und Maskinenfabrik DLMAG delivered eight steam locomotives to rack railways in Switzerland and Austria between 1992 and 1996. Four of them are now the main traction on the Bryans Rothorn Bahn. Four others were built for the Skafberg Bahn in Austria, where they run 90% of the trains. The same company also rebuilt a German DR class 52.802-10-0 locomotive to new standards with modifications such as roller bearings, light oil firing and boiler insulation. 100. Climate change. The future use of steam locomotives in the United Kingdom is in doubt because of government policy on climate change. The Heritage Railway Association is working with the All Party Parliamentary Group on Heritage Rail in an effort to continue running steam locomotives on coal. 101. 
Many tourist railroads use oil-fired steam locomotives, or have converted their locomotives to run on oil. To reduce their environmental footprint, and because fuel oil can be easier to obtain than coal of the proper type and sizing for locomotives. For example, the Grand Canyon Railway runs its steam locomotives on used vegetable oil. An organization called the Coalition for Sustainable Rail (CSR) is developing an environmentally friendly coal substitute made from torrefied biomass. 102 in. Early 2019, they performed a series of tests using Everett Railroad to evaluate the performance of the biofuel, with positive results. The biofuel was found to burn slightly faster and hotter than coal. 103. The goal of the project is primarily to find a sustainable fuel for historic steam locomotives on tourist railroads, but CSR has also suggested that, in the future, Steam locomotives powered by torrefied biomass could be an environmentally and economically superior alternative to diesel locomotives. 102. Also, a large vat containing salt may be used without needing to replenish ink medium. See Mazda, Mazda. A. Large heating elements would be one method of recharging the system, however, it is possible to pump molten salt as well. Removing the cooled salt and replenishing from facilities which contain a much larger vat. Steam locomotives in popular culture. Steam locomotives have been present in popular culture since the 19th century. Folk songs from that period, including I.V. Bean working on the railroad and the ballad of John Henry, are a mainstay of American music and culture. Many steam locomotive toys have been made, and railway modeling is a popular hobby. Steam locomotives are often portrayed in fictional works, notably the railway series by the Rev. W. V. Audrey, The Little Engine That Could by Watty Piper, The Polar Express by Chris Van Allsburg and the Hogwarts Express from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. They have also been featured in many children's television shows, such as Thomas and Friends based on characters from the books by Audrey, and Ivor the Engine created by Oliver Postgate. The Hogwarts Express also appears in the Harry Potter series of films. Portrayed by GWR 4900 Class 5972 Alton Hall in our special Hogwarts livery. The Polar Express appears in the animated movie of the same name. An elaborate, themed funicular Hogwarts Express ride is featured in the Universal Orlando Resort in Florida, connecting the Harry Potter section of Universal Studios with Islands of Adventure theme park. The Polar Express is recreated on many heritage railroads in the United States, including the North Pole Express called with Peria Market 1225 locomotive, which is operated by the Steam Railroading Institute in Oso, Michigan. According to author Van Allsburg, this locomotive was the inspiration for the story and it was used in the production of the movie. A number of computer and video games feature steam locomotives. Railroad Tycoon, produced in 1990, was named one of the best computer games of the year. There are two notable examples of steam locomotives used as charges on heraldic coats of arms. One is that of Darlington, which displays locomotion number one. The other is the original coat of arms of Swindon, not currently in use, which displays a basic steam locomotive. 104, 105. Steam locomotives are a popular topic for coin collectors. The 1950 silver 5 peso coin of Mexico has a steam locomotive on its reverse as the prominent feature. The state occurred to represent in Utah, depicting the golden spike ceremony the 20 euro by Demaya period coin, minted the 11th of June, 2003, shows on the obverse an early model steam locomotive, the Ajax, on Austria's first railway line, the Kaiser Ferdinand's Nordbahn. The Ajax can still be seen today in the Technisches Museum Wien. 
As part of the 50 State Quarters Program, the quarter representing the U.S. state of Utah depicts the ceremony where the two halves of the first transcontinental railroad met at Promontory.